Hello and welcome back to another Total War Warhammer 2 gameplay playing as Ulth 1. We are playing SFO and we are on episode 9. And uh, let's just go straight into it. So last time we had just finished off Kalidor. Over here at Vol's Anvil. And now Ulth 1 belongs entirely to us except from Kothik who we've pretty much allowed to live. They're kind of our bitches. They are, and they'll eventually confederate. It won't take too long. And in the meantime, we are going to do some very economy-based stuff. We're going to get to building up this island and making it an absolute economic powerhouse so that it can fund our campaigns abroad as we take over the entire world. Because the world needs to be brought to heel as High Elves are the superior race. Or so they believe, as we all know. So, let's bring peace to the world, High Elf style, and what better way to do that than building up our economy through trade, and, but first actually, if I remember correctly, we need to do public order, don't we? Where's the public order? Toran Rock, no brainer, that's getting upgraded straight away, that's our gold mine, Tordra Nil, public order, sure. Upgrade that. Torakair is already upgrading to level 4. That's good. We'll get a couple more slots and we can build a wall here. Thank goodness. Tor of Reese would be good as well. To upgrade one more time just so we don't have to worry about it rebelling. Um, oh goodness, I'm poor to her. <laughs> so much to do. So much to do. But it's fine. Construction for all buildings minus 20%. That's pretty good. Uh, what do we need here? I'm not sure. Is this worth building? I feel like it is, but I also feel like there's so many good buildings here to do as well. But economy is going to come first, so let's do that. Techno uh, sorry, uh, level for Leia Quinn. Where is Leia Quinn? Out exploring. Okay. Um... Oh, what should we give you? I guess I'll give you specialist just in case you need to do anything for now. And where are you going? Are you headed anywhere in particular? Don't appear to be. I don't know if there's anywhere good for you to go. Maybe here? We already know Kiss left. We know most people. <laughs> we, you know, we know most people at this stage, don't we? Um, maybe the Wood Elves, but we couldn't trade with them anyway, even if we wanted to. So it doesn't really matter. I'm not sure where to send them. Maybe just send them home. You know, we haven't discovered these people down here, so let's just go down this way. It's better, better than nothing. And otherwise, you won't be doing anything sitting at home. That's for sure. Let's see our trade agreements. We influenced people last time from our crowd late because we want to get some more trade on the go. Leoness, how are we doing, sir? Yes. More income. More income. Come. Okay, trade agreement only. Okay, non-aggression pact only. No. Okay, you're not there yet. Border princes need a bit more loving. Yes. Good. I suppose so. <laughs> Welcome to Fair Bretonia. Trade agreement. Excellent. You even willing to pay for it? No. Not. Okay, Arkan, ca calm down, dude. Calm down. <laughs> Wait, laying on far too thick, man. No one's going to believe that you're dangerous if you keep doing that. Laxlan. Good. Trade agreement. Not quite. You're getting there, though. He's coming around. He's coming around. Etc. Oh, wow. He's deteriorating. Big time. Big time. We only just met, but he really doesn't like us. We don't really, we don't want to get involved in all you, all you mere mortals, petty squabbles. We just want to trade with you. It doesn't matter. We trade both sides. We're totally neutral. We're Switzerland here. Just, 
you know. We'll sell you guns, we'll sell you whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't know if Switzerland sell guns, that was not a direct... <laughs> I'm just saying we will. <laughs> we will definitely sell you guns. We'll sell guns to the Skaven and guns to the Dwarves and guns to the Cetra. We don't care. If there were guns, we'd sell them to all of you. I just want money. Any way I can get it. Now, Balls Anvil. Um, that's okay. Okay, I think it's just going to be a case of passing my turn a lot at this point. I really do. That's just a waste. I'm not going to build that. That is a waste. So, yeah, it's not going to be the most exciting episode battle-wise, but certainly campaign-wise we're going to get uh, our our, our, um, our economy built right up and uh, try to fund ourselves to the point where we'll be able to... I want to field four armies. Um, two of which, maybe three, will go abroad. And definitely one, maybe two staying home. Not sure yet. Five armies would be incredible. And and not not totally unattainable either. We could maybe afford five armies, but that, that's a stretch. Um certainly four though, I reckon, once we built our economy up. And I keep on praying that the dwarfs have managed to uh, do well up at Barak Var so that we can trade with them. We know most of the races in the Mount Mortal Empire's map at this point, thanks to trade giving us line of sight with everyone. And it seems like most of them think well of us, which is nice. I should probably check my technology tree, see if we can get anything to affect diplomacy with uh, with the races of the world. If I haven't already researched them, I don't even know what I'm researching right now. Martial law. So we really want... Oh, trade advancements? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What are these? None of this has... That's what I want. Martial law. That's awesome, though. Let's finish this, then we're going for trade advancements. Hells yeah. Okay. Ether. Let's keep sailing on upriver. A necessary pause. Couple more turns. Shame orcs can't trade, eh? <laughs> I am ready to parley. I hope your words are wise. They're very wise. Never. I promise. No. No. Dude, come on. You gotta stop messing around here. Hey! Another trade partner. Excellent. You wanna trade? No, but I'd like to trade. I keep thinking, even though they hate us, they might trade. I mean, Ark and the Black did. <laughs> Right, these guys seriously hate us. There's no chance of that happening. Um, border princes are, are, are getting better, but still not quite there. Yes. Do I have any influence I can spend? Five. Not nearly enough. Okay. 8,000 gold to spend, though. That's definitely good. And we need four population growth for that. So, okay, we won't worry about that, though. We'll, we want public order. White Peak, order three turns. Toralier, one turn. Not going to bother upgrading the gates yet. There's no point. Uh, minus one public order per turn here. But we have got a colonnade building, and it will be ready soon. Plus the tower, which will give us the level three walls. Shrine of Cain, definitely want a garrison there. That's a no-brainer. The people are rested. And that's it for this turn, I think. Could upgrade this. It's pretty cheap. 1600 gives us a bit of extra growth. Let's do it. We might as well. And we'll upgrade the orchard to a vineyard. And that's it for this turn. We need some influence gaining decisions to make.
We could send Tyrion out onto the water to collect some of these um, I will grant you the respect objective points. Oh, here we go. Oh dear, they're calling Nagarond as well? Oh, Hellebron, no! Okay, shit just got real. Shit just got really real. Okay, we need to send all our forces north immediately. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> A part of me thinks that I should just send Tyrion abroad straight away um, to go and fight them instead, because if you fight them on their lands, then they're less likely to sail over and attack you. Look at all the wars that broke out this turn. The, the computer has just decided, nope, there's too much peace on Earth. There's too much peace on Earth. <laughs> And that's about to change. Wow, the barrel ends just went nuts. They must be feeling strong. Wow, Carrick Zifflin are gone. I'll say, wow, they're not that tough. Confederation, that's huge. Wow, Wintertooth took Norska. Fair enough. Wulfric decided to become Throg's bitch. Fair enough. To each their own, but you know. Weird decision in my opinion. Uh, Leia, you're going to stay here then. You're going to be scouting this out for us. Okay, you know what the good news is? Nagarond and uh, Hellebron are kind of stuck behind a big wall of Skaven. These are not actually destroyed. These are all Skaven. I'm pretty darn sure. Let's just prove that. My magic is yours. And uh, that's good for us. I just realized that's a girl. <laughs> I just thought it was a very effeminate looking man. <laughs> but it's it's a woman. After I just heard the voice and I was like, oh, that's, that's a woman. Fair enough. Um, okay, now that we're at war, we might want to prioritize some of these gates being built. Shrine of Assyrian, level 3, hell yeah. Um, the Asser of Troubles. Can't upgrade that yet. That's getting really close to the mark, but it's okay. We'll just turn public order, uh, taxation off as soon as we need to. This is a very slow process, isn't it? Uh, Tyrion is going to go... Where is he going to go? Military presence is 10, characters 3. So that's going to go a little bit negative when we leave, which is a shame. But nothing can be done, because we need to leave. So let's get to White Peak. Which is good. I don't really want to have to untax this place. And hopefully we don't have to. I'll build a colonnade as soon as this is ready. Um... Lothurn keeps saying it can build. You know what, for the, the cost of this, it might be worth it in the meantime. You know what, I'm going to do it. I should have built it. I should have just built it a few turns ago. It's cheap. Just get it built. Fills a slot for now. We'll delete it later. And our worst fears are realised. Bark Bar has been taken over by Greenskins. No. It's not what we want. Oof. Defensive alliance with you guys. I do want to be friends with Teclas. So let's do it. I do want Teclas to be my friend, so I will take a defensive alliance with him and try and build relations and get him to confederate. If only just to get the legendary lord over to Lothurn. I don't really care about those cities, so if I confederate, I will literally just abandon them and uh, sail him up to join Lothurn. Oh, Wintertooth's feeling cocky after his confederation. Look at that. 
How many wars was that? When Seduth just declared, what was that? Eight or nine wars? He's going mad. He's going mad. Throg is wanting to destroy the world. He's feeling very cocky after that confederation. It's nice. It must be nice as an AI, not having to deal with all the uh, shit that goes along with confederating. Just, just as soon as you confederate, you've just got like twice as many armies. It doesn't matter about the gold that that costs. Who cares? Just send all the armies wherever you need them. Wow, they confederated with the gold the next turn as well. So the confederation blocker doesn't doesn't affect them, does it? Apparently not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven wars, including Britonia, Dwarves, and the Empire. <laughs> They're feeling cocky. They are feeling cocky. Ever faithful. I need you. What sh what should you have? Handmaiden, diplomat of the Ever Queen. Ah, oh, these are all very good. I like it. I like it. I don't want to lose her either, because I think um, if I lose her, I won't be able to recruit any more of them. I think these are unique to uh, Alariel's people, so I can't recruit them. Let's get her on land and head towards the dwarfs. Raise sail. Raise sail. 8,000 gold over here in Althwood, ready to be spent. Order must be maintained. Indeed it must. Upgrade the colonnade, please. Servant of the king. And Tyrion, where are we going, Tyrion? As you command, champion. Tor and Rock. Loyal to a fault. In the local province. It's not that good, is it? But it's, it's not bad. Let's do it. Torelir. Upgrade the orchard. Hell yeah. And a colonnade, please. Or plaza for now. Definitely a good buy. Upgrade the growth building too. How are we doing in Evershale? We've got plenty of time there. Torvis is getting very close. Oh, Tor a care. Oh shit. Um not good at all. Let's build this. Oh no, we have to build the walls. We have to build the walls. Oh that's that is it untaxed. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Run, Alariel! I need you in Torakir yesterday. Shies. Oh crap. I have not been paying attention. Oh, well, might as well do that next turn. The Asher bid you welcome. How are you guys doing? Minus one. Yeah, public order is a real issue, man. It's a real issue everywhere. Okay. Let's just check on the border princes, see if they've changed their minds at all. I am ready to parlay, oh, good. Okay, a little bit of money. Excellent. Non-aggression pacts. Fine, fine. Excellent. More money. That's what I want to hear. And why not upgrade that? <laughs> it's there. It's able to be upgraded. Upgrade it. Oh, God. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Forgot about that. Do that next turn if I remember. It 
be strange that you don't start off with like a military alliance with Teclas. I mean, I kind of get it, but also I'm like, well, I mean, would Teclas not start off being really friendly with Lothurn? Oh, God. <laughs> well, that was stupid. There we are, though. Oh, Clark Caron, they're back. I keep reading that as Clan Carond. It's Clark Carond. Meanwhile, the greenskins are wagging all over the place. Thank goodness I have the cameras sorted out. I imagine how much nonsense we'd have to watch if I didn't have those cameras sorted out. <laughs> I get the feeling that Clark Caronda are not very popular with the other Dark Elves. I mean, look at that. Straight at war with Haggraif. <laughs> On the first turn that they returned. No, I don't like that. That's not good because that's going to make Cetra hate me even more. And I used reputation to try and get Blumen trade agreement with them. Okay, Leia Quinn's wounded. Riverhorn tribe are dead. Krace is going to rebel. God damn, Krace. Queen of Avalon, my loyal subjects. Let's go. Happy girl. My loyal subjects. Servant of the king. Tyrion, uh, you know what? I think we might just stay here. I think we might just stay here. Because I want to get this. Well, is there any... Ugh, I don't know. It's only plus one. It's being so bad for public order everywhere. It's just so bad. L is next to go. Let's upgrade this. Torfanu's getting there. My lord, this is just... We expanded so quickly, you know, and it's just really hurt us. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. That seems like a good idea. Except from, you will have no public order buildings. But in general, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's do it. You need to pay me for it, though. <laughs> you need to pay me for the privilege of joining Lothurn. Okay, they'll give me all their money, too. Excellent. Welcome aboard. How are you doing, Teclas? Greetings. Let us discuss terms if you say so. Let us discuss terms. Wow, we keep all their armies and we're still positive? How on earth? How on earth? Okay, good stuff. That's awesome. Um, you know what? <laughs> Try and get to uh, Torah Care <laughs> as well. You can actually make it. So yeah, just go here. And you'll def you can defeat that army next turn. That's perfect. Uh, we don't need you guys, so let's just get rid of you. See ya. That restores our income a little bit. Um, what's going on with these cities? I swear they were earning a lot more money when they were... Were they better off as trade partners? Have I messed myself up here? I swear they were earning like over a thousand each. And now it's like, oh no, no they're not. Um... All right, well, we need a colonnade, so get rid of that. Or should I leave that there and build it over here? Decisions, decisions. We have no growth buildings at all. So yeah, get rid of this. Get rid of this. 
That's cool, we can keep that. That's also cool. Oh, we can make handmaidens. Okay, I was talking absolute shite. We can make them. We can keep all that, though. That's pretty cool. Deloria. I, I really hope that wasn't the case, that all our trade income was coming from them, and that it is instead this army. How much is this costing us? 5,000. Yes, it is indeed this army. This army is costing a lot of money. Um, and we will use it next turn to... To do what we need to do for Torakair, and then I'll probably disband it as well. Because I need that money. What are you doing? Stimulate growth. That's a good idea. Let's give you that. You're brand new and level skill points eight. Well, you you just got recruited, did you? Fair enough. Specialist, sure. Um Wind. Spanish troops. No, that's silly. And one point left for hand replenishment. There's no point in that if I'm going to use them as an agent. Cool, okay, that was nice. That's a nice little um, acquisition there. Let's upgrade the growth buildings. Let's build a wall. Okay. Awesome. Look at that. The whole of Alpha 1 is ours. Beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, let's do public order for now. Oh, actually, construction costs, because we're going to build stuff next turn. <clears throat> ah, the Border Princes aren't doing too bad. At least they own Akendorf. They're not complete pushovers. And I think uh, my initial sort of diagnosis of the situation after the High Elves declared war on us is correct, because I haven't seen them come for us yet. High Elves, the, uh, the Dark Elves, that is. So, if we're lucky, we can continue just making this uh, uh, an economic stride forward without the worry of them going to war with us, because they're occupied by the Skaven. Hello. Indubitably. Merci, mon frère. Non-aggression pact. Excellent. Right. We have a rebellion in Chris. Let's crush it. Let's absolutely crush it. <laughs> Trade advancements, costing us some of our gold, sadly. Sarah, crush this rebellion. I'm not even going to bother fighting it. Let's just auto-resolve it. Get rid of them. Take that. We have no need that. For oh, minus 10. It's not many high elves left, we but the ones that, I, that are left matter. So let's just uh, not do that. Can I offer assistance? And... Yes, let's disband them. A triumph for Ulfuan. We need the money, I'm afraid, princess. Should we keep the heroes? What level are they? Seven, nine, seven. Might as well throw one of them into Alaria's army. She's got room for it. So what do we prefer? We prefer Shadow Mage or Heavens? A worthy ally. Shadow. 
gets the pit of shades, which is actually a pretty weak one. It's the one that doesn't move, but I, I don't rate that very highly. Because it doesn't move, I swear it does less damage than the other ones. A mighty warrior. Which I don't actually like. Comet of Cassandora and Chain Lightning. That seems a lot. And Wind Blast. I am far more inclined to have a Mage of the Heavens. So, and that's also the highest level one. So that's perfect. You go in there. The other two can just disband it for now. Nope, come here. What are I'm you doing? Waiting. Why can't I get rid of you? Please? Victory for Asurian. Onward then. What? I don't understand why I can't get rid of you, especially since you're so bloody expensive. You seek illumination? There we go, thank god. Okay, 9,000 gold per turn, so now we're really... That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of money. Hell yeah. Uh, walls there and plaza here. That's good. Um, awesome. Loyal servant. So that rebellion was crushed. I'm still going to move a Lariel there so that we get the extra um, public order. Let's just... No, let's, you know what? Let's tax the province. Tax the province again, because all, all is well. How are we doing a white far tour? We need to upgrade this. Upgrade the growth building as well. We're catching up. We are catching up with all the issues. And the colonnade there will be ready in one turn, and that will be... That will be... Positive public order. Good stuff. She's just staying there to stimulate the growth because there's no growth here at the moment. The dock is providing some, um, uh, but she provides an extra. How much growth is she giving? Stimulate growth. 30 growth extra. So she, she's equivalent to having that building. So doing a good job there. Oh no. Hang on. There we go. Pro problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, oh, I forgot about this. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I knew. I knew what I was doing. It's not off. Oh, my God. Look at Kara Zakarik. Holy shit. Oh, that's dead. Oh, that's seriously dead. <laughs> they are done for. Oh, Thorgrim. Rest in peace. Rest in many pieces, as you'll know they're about to be. Oh my god. There is so many orcs there. And it's Grimgore himself as well. I wonder if we can do anything to help. But uh, for sure, my my hope that the dwarves would be doing well is definitely not a thing. Did I say orcs there or dwarfs? I meant dwarfs. I hope that the dwarfs should be doing well. Not a thing. <laughs> did I say orcs? I really don't know. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I'll know when I watch it back. <laughs> okay. Trait gains. Cool. We are literally 500 gold off of being 10,000 per turn. Um, and that is where I'm going to leave this episode guys so I hope that was not too boring for you I know that some people don't enjoy just the campaign based stuff but it's necessary um, and uh, it will allow for much bigger battles later so I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like and if you want to see more content hit that subscribe button and I will uh, see you in the next one